A brand new St James's Park inside the city centre is actually being called the new Wembley. How does that work? What's going to happen with the future of this football club? What are the plans of the ownership? Down here is everyone a part of the football club. What do they see as the foreseeable future when it comes to us St James now? As Newcastle fans, we all know, going inside St James's Park for the first time ever, you see the stands, you see the atmosphere, you see local hero before a kick off it just gets you in the mood for a match and it's not a better feeling in the world but the unfortunate reality is it is parked right in the city centre and we haven't got any land around the stadium we can't build on it at least three of the four stands so the problem being is that Newcastle is in a situation now where we need extra revenue you've seen it this season uh, Newcastle is a team that is pushing there they're definitely starting to get towards the areas we want to be in but you just need that extra kit in the bank. You saw at the January transfer window, we're only able to make signs because you haven't got that revenue available now. Expanse and James's Park and a potential extra 20, 25,000 seats in there is going to boost that match day revenue to an extreme level. And being classed as the new Wembley as well, it's actually not just about the matches, it's also about the event. Uh, the marketing behind St. James's Park, and if it was going to be a new stadium, the marketing behind is actually to get more sporting events more concerts, more gigs. There's more events during the summer and a point in the season where St James's Park is available to be used to get these big events in. So again, the revenue will go up and it will improve Newcastle as a city and also improve Newcastle as a football club. As I'm currently recording this video, actually, even now, St James's Park are trying to get more events in. We have the England national team taking on Bosnia. I'm going to try and get tickets for that. On top of that, we actually have... Uh, a possibility where St James's Park are the front runners to host the over 35 World Cup. I mean, look at some of the stars now Ronaldinho, you've got Kaka, you've got Cafu, there's a mental players in that. But the point being is that St James's Park now is in a position where it's good, Newcastle is a good city, you can get a decent amount of people on the ground, but it's still not one of the, I guess, one of the best stadiums you could have for concerts, not one of the best stadiums you could have for events that are themed outside of football. We just aren't at that stage where. Uh, a new a new Wembley is being proclaimed where, in the sense, it's not just for the football. Where I think this is where it can cause problems because if your mindset as a football owner goes away from the football and all of a sudden you start to think about, well, actually, we'll have this stadium in so we have the, the likes of Harry Styles, have the likes of Sam Fender, but I can have all sorts of different people in. And you're taking your focus away from the football then. Isn't that why you've lost the fans now? Um, I'm always a bit... A bit off about new stadiums to be honest i'm actually more of a, a steer guy i'm always someone that likes st james's part the way it is i've got some problems with a new stadium now the first thing being i think the atmosphere will be rubbish in a new ground i don't know what it'll be it'll be fine for a few games you go in there and eventually just the way things are modernized now i've been to west ham away i've been to tottenham away plenty of times i've seen these new grounds and the rubbish the atmosphere is rubbish in them they look so good. You go to like to Tottenham. I mean, it's one of the best stadiums in the world. You go there, and it's just amazing. It has a it has a closed roof over the top, so you can get the boxing inside there. You can get the wrestling on. It's mental. But the problem being, you go to the games. I don't yell at Tottenham fans. I, I just it's rubbish. It is. I can imagine for fans that have been to Old White Hart Lane, will probably prefer actually being there for the atmosphere itself. And that's one of the first problems I have. Now, a second one being is that. What's going to happen to the old St James's Park if we're going to get a new stadium in? Straight away, that old St James's Park one we've had so much history in, it'll get knocked down and turn into like student accommodations and the like uni flats and all. Oh, that'll feel so horrible. But um, uh, that's that's the second problem. Now, there's, there's all sorts of different factors going with it because even if you're able to build a new ground somewhere in the city centre, so it's been talked about about actual land that is next to the. Uh, utility arena so this is land that's already been bought up but is it possible that a man was go straight away well you know what you paid this much for the land i'm going to pay you this much and dump extra money onto it so uh obviously they earn a profit from it but if you're going to build it down there the location's rubbish it's bad location down there it'd be a nightmare transport wise to get down it'd be horrible for cars etc i wouldn't say even though it is in the city center i wouldn't actually say it's a good location for the ground but at the same time, there's only so much you can do and so many ways you can get around it. And then, what can the club do? Now, next week, I think uh, I have a chance to actually go over to the location myself, see how big it is. I say about the logistics behind it, see how realistic it actually could be to build a stadium next to the utility arena if Newcastle were able to buy the land elsewhere. 
So if you want to see that sort of content, let me know. We'll happily go over there and we'll actually have a look ourselves and just see uh, the possibility behind that. As for what Newcastle United fans think about the whole prospect of Newcastle actually having to build a brand new stadium, it's massively divisive. And even my personal opinion now, I'm kind of back and forth on it. I just can't get an actual proper thought on it. I, I just think moving from the old St James's Park, it's just, it's going to hurt a lot. But at the same time, we need the revenue. And I think this guy on Twitter, for example, says that building a new stadium won't get us trophies. I mean, that, that's just false. It definitely will get us trophies because it will bring extra revenue in. And that money will help Newcastle will become a better football club. So I don't know how you can say uh, building a new stadium wouldn't help us get trophies because it definitely would. Of course, he's still got to do the job. Money can only do so much, but it, it definitely would help Newcastle get towards that aim. But fans are heavily divided on it. I can kind of, I can see why. Uh, for me, I think it's a big, big ask. And it's just one of them ones where... For me now, the ownership have got to be upfront about it. No more of this. Oh, well, we're going to keep seeing what's going to happen. We're going to try and expand as much as we can. They've said numerous times in the Lake City, like, we, we want to stay at St. James's Park. We're going to expand. Yeah, we're going to look at all aspects of the ground we want to stay where we are and if you're going to flip around now and say well actually we want to build a new ground you've got to be upfront about it it just it won't sit well we're fine so uh, that's my honest take on it i think the ownership down on the was everyone apart in newcastle now that has got a, a rough estimate on what they want to do with the ground they've just got to be upfront about it tell the fans what do we want to do i think more people will understand if the club actually explains their reason and go well we want to move with the ground over here because we can do x y and z with it and that's the sort of thing fans want. It's a bit of clarity, uh, a bit of reasoning, and I think we'll be all right. But I was just, a, I guess, a brief video just going through the actual reports on social media about a new Wembley, so an actual St. James's Park Stadium built with the design behind it, not being just for football, but being for our stuff as well. So concerts, just any anything outside of football where the club could make a lot of money from it and have that going on as well. But is it the right call? what can fans expect from it it's a tricky one i think when i make these kind of videos it's always a bit hard to kind of give my actual opinion on it because again i'm just split both ways on it but what about you guys what do you think about it what would you do if you were the ownership of newcastle would you stay or would you go staying means you keep your history and just everything around st james's park and going means you get more money and so what is it that matters to you more I still think Newcastle for now, I've, I've got to stay put, try their best to expand St. James's Park. A couple more years, it's still been changing, for example, the name of St. James's Park. Someone like Saudi, St. James's Park, or something like that. Well, uh, of course, some Saudi Arabian companies that want to pump loads of money on their stadium rights for the actual name of the stadium. So that's the sort of thing Newcastle still can't make revenue in. Some that's probably going to upset fans, but definitely don't think it's as bad as actually just leaving and making a new ground. So, yeah, it's a... Oh, it's a tricky one. What will the club actually do? So next week, like I said before, if you guys want to see it, we'll actually go into St. James's Park. We'll, we'll talk about the stadium outside. It will go around the potential new location there, the Attila Arena. Is it actually feasible to have a ground of that capacity there? Yeah, plenty of content coming up. So stay tuned, enjoy the game tomorrow, and we'll see you all in the next one.